interstitial cystitis. Hi, I'm Erin and I'm here to talk to you about my journey with interstitial cystitis and a little about the journal that I created for people with interstitial cystitis. I was diagnosed with interstitial cystitis in 2014 and was basically handed a vague list of foods that I could and couldn't eat to help control the pain. My whole world was turned upside down. All of a sudden, I couldn't have coffee anymore. I couldn't uh, have any sauces, any salad dressings, and um, it was it was it was hard to go through. So I've come a long way since then, and I would like to share with you my journal that I created um, to help you on your journey. Um, you can buy it on Amazon.com.